normal distribution. That's right. Sounds like natural things going on here. So whole population, right? Not selected uh, few items. Okay, we're talking about that's why we have a population standard deviation or sample, right? Okay, so now talking about standard deviation right there, SD. Okay, what is the symbol for that? That's right. Okay, we can use S for sample or whole population. So we use this sign right here, right? Low case of sigma. Oh, the formula wise, we have so many values, right? So many values. That's why I use XI. Okay, I going to be one through whatever number. That's why X1, X2, X3, so minus or the mean value. Mean value can be, okay, mu right here. Okay, then square because we need positive number, see? Then we add everything, right? Okay, that's what we call sigma. Sigma, so I is going from one through total number. How many? N numbers. Divide by N. Oh, that's right. So, so far, we found variance. Oh, right. Okay, so we call variance. Then variance means square of this standard deviation. That's why we have to put what? That's right. The square root sign. See? Just like that. Just like that. Then square root sign. Oh, finally, we got standard deviation. Now we have to consider bell curve. Oh, bell. Okay. So bell-shaped curve, actually. Okay, bell curve. Okay, looks like this. Wow, beautiful bell right here. Oh, bell-shaped curve, right? Okay, obviously, okay, hey, we know that. Okay, so right in the middle, that's the average, right? Which is the mu value, right there, mean value, whatever. Okay, then uh, the right-hand side, oh, that's right. So we talked about this one already. So one standard deviation right there. Okay, 2 SD, 3 SD, so on. Now, what about the left-hand side? Negative SD, which is 1 SD, negative 2, so N, negative 3, and so on. See? Now, uh, what is the area then? Oh, this area, so we need this area to find out the population, right? How many people in this category? Okay, things like that. Okay, example. Let's think about the education, see, what kind of level they have, things like that, what kind of IQ, how smart they are. What about, hey, let's say I'm going to open the business like a big factory for the whole world. Okay, bicycle company, how about that? Make it simple. Okay, bicycle company, see, you know what? We have to know the size, right? We're not going to make a big size of bicycle or a very, very small, okay, like a toy shape. Okay, so we have to know how many people in uh, category in like a 26-inch uh, uh, bicycle, okay, or okay, 28, okay, and so on, right? Okay, that's why we have to know how many people in these categories. Okay, now, in this normal curve, so one SD, within one SD, so we must remember this number, right? Okay, so... 34.1% is right in this category. What about negative? 34.1, see, percent. Then there's a total percent underneath of this curve is 100%, okay, which is probability-wise one, okay, one probability. Okay, now, uh, then total together within this uh, range right here, 68.2%, you know, rounded up. Uh, value. How many percent above outside of a 3SD? You know what? 0.1 percent. That means 1 out of 1,000. Okay, what about below this one? See, 0.1 again. See, very small amount. Okay, what about this one right here? Only 2.1 percent. See, 2.1 percent. Things like that. This one, 13.6 percent. 13.6 percent. Things like that, okay? So now, so one more sample I want to talk about. What about IQ? Uh-huh, people's IQ. Okay, so intelligence 
quotient. See? So how smart things like that. So average is 100, right? So you know that. Okay, now let's say, oh, that means average, which is mean value is 100 IQ. Then let's say uh, standard deviation, which is, okay, sigma equals, let's say 20. That means you just add one SD, which is 20. So 120. What about this one? 140, 160, and so on. What about this one? Only 80, 60, 40. Wow. Then uh, we have talking about education. So now, uh, yeah, let's say what I'm doing right here. Okay, what I'm doing is uh, if I do talk too slow, okay, just like this, maybe somebody who has high IQ right here, they complain like, Oh man, he talked too slow, you know. Sounds like a stupid, whatever. Okay, what about these people? These people think I talk too fast. See, I don't get it, you know, things like that. That's why educational department, they have to consider most the people, they have to concentrate on these people. What about maybe these people, see, right here. Okay, but for these people maybe, oh, way outside, Way up there, they need a special education. Not only these people, left and side. Okay, so somebody who's too smart, they study anyway. So they don't need help, maybe. Now, we all realize that how important these matters are. Okay, that's it. But, okay, how are we going to get this area? That is a problem, see? Okay, like an area for this, maybe area for whole thing, maybe area up to this point, maybe, things like that. So no way, because this is a curve, see? So we have to appreciate for this man, Chevyshev. Uh-huh. So we have to consider Chevyshev's, Chevyshev theorem. Okay, uh, like a uh, Heron's law, uh, you know, Pythagorean theorem, things like that. This is, uh, this is another theorem right here. Okay, so best way, just to remember, very simple. Maybe he, it took many, many years to find this one out, but hey, we really use this one. So select this one, times 100, which is percent, see, percent right there. 